Hello, sewing people of the internet. This video is kind of part of my ongoing review of the Singer Heavy Duty series of machines. Uh, it occurred to me in a comparison video I was doing between this machine and my Singer 503A to try to determine the speed of the two machines to see if the Singer HD produces the stitches per minute that is claimed and also to see how that compared to the 503A and then I thought, well, it might be a good idea to just test a bunch of my machines. So, uh, that's what I've done in this video. Uh, I have a couple of things I want to clarify before I get to the testing. Oof. I want to be uh, very clear that this is not a scientific test. I took a long strip of paper and sewed it with each machine with no thread. And I sewed for 10 seconds, with one exception you'll see in the video. I sewed for 10 seconds and then counted the number of stitches and multiplied that by 6 to arrive at the stitches per minute. I did one run with each machine. A more accurate thing to do would be to do a, a bunch of runs, you know, three or more, and then average the runs. But my goal here is not to tell you the absolute specific speed of any of these machines. My goal was to get an idea of about the speed these machines are producing and to provide a visual for you of what that speed looks like relative to another speed. 700 stitches per minute, you know, may or may not sound fast or may sound slow to you or whatever, but, you know, it may be different when you actually see it in action. Another thing I want to point out is I have a bunch of sewing machines and most of them rarely get used and they're all in various stages of neglect. So the performance that you see out of any one of my machines, say my Singer 237, if you have a Singer 237, maybe yours is faster than mine, I don't know. I only have this one. So uh, again, this is not intended to be a benchmark of the, stop, the speed of any given machine, just the ones that I have. Uh, also, I noticed in editing, some of these machines sound really terrible on video, but they don't in person. So before you accuse me of badly needing to oil my machines or that they're in terrible shape, they really don't sound like that. Sorry, Bobbin is trying to eat thread. Uh, they don't sound like that in person, so just keep that in mind, please. And the last thing I want to point out is that speed is one element of a sewing machine's performance. I don't think it's the most important element of performance. Uh, there are times when it is certainly handy to have something that goes faster to get a long stitch done more quickly, but how fast do you want to screw something up? Okay, so I'm going to show you the testing and the results at the end of the video. If you find this helpful, make sure you click like, and if you're not a subscriber, maybe think about subscribing to the channel. There's a bunch of information in the description below. All right, let's get started. Well, those are going to be easier to count at least. I need 
need bigger paper. Maybe I'll do that for six seconds. I see you. No, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Yeah, maybe let him check it out and then he'll see there's nothing there and he'll leave us alone. I love your optimism.